Howdy, Trent with Pike Industries. Today, I wanna to present to you the silver bullet troubleshooting technique for Victron Energy Bluetooth connectivity issues. Now, Victron Energy makes a wide range of products ranging from uh, charge controllers to inverters to batteries. Uh, the one I have in front of me today is an MPPT. It's a smart solar 100 slash 20. You can connect to it with the Victron Connect app uh, via Bluetooth and you can change settings on it. You can update firmware, see what it's been doing. Every once in a while, that connection gets lost and your phone or your iPad or uh, any tablet with Victron Connect on it all of a sudden can't connect anymore. So you wonder why. There's many reasons why that can happen. Number one, it's just technology. It doesn't always work perfectly. Uh, number two, you might have updated the OS on your tablet or phone. That can sometimes corrupt that connection. Three, uh, it could just be the file on your phone for some reason got corrupted. Maybe another application uh, messed it up or another connection messed it up. Because what's happening is when you create a Bluetooth connection from your device to a Victron device, there's a file that's getting created on your device that is that connection file between the two. Sometimes that gets corrupt. The quickest solution to solving these Bluetooth issues, here's your silver bullet. And I have been doing support with Pike Industries and Victron products for many years now. And here's the quickest way to do it. Open up Victron Connect on your device. When you see the list of Victron devices there, choose the one that you're having trouble with. You're gonna see three dots over to the right-hand side. Click the three dots on that device and choose Reset Pin. It's gonna ask you for a PUK code. Now that PUK code uh, is gonna be on the device. And depending on which device you're having trouble connecting to, you might have to look on the back, you might have to look on the side, you might have to look underneath, but there's gonna be a sticker. And on that sticker, it's got serial numbers, but there's also a PUK code there. Take note of that PUK code, come back to the Victron Connect application, enter that PUK code where it's asking, and what's gonna happen is when you enter that in, your device erases that file and it creates a brand new connection file. Almost every single time that resolves connectivity issues. If that for some reason doesn't solve it for you, you can take further steps like making sure your Victron Connect app is fully up to date. Certainly making sure you're within Bluetooth range of your device, you know, make sure you're within a couple of feet of it. Now the range is longer than that, but Make sure you're within a couple of feet just to make sure you've got a good, strong connection of that device. Make sure there's nothing in between floors, um, walls. Just make sure you're right next to it when you make that connection. But that silver bullet of resetting the connection, resetting the file using the PUK code, that should take care of it. Hope you found this video helpful. Pike Industries is a fully authorized distributor of Victron Energy. If you have any questions or you're interested in purchasing Victron Energy products, reach out to us, pikeind.com. Thanks. Have a great day.